For my herbs, I'll be having scotch, bonnet pepper, thyme, onions, parsley. I also add cilantro most of the time. I didn't have any on hand this time. Vegetables would be the celery, onions, tomatoes. Also, I have some dried herbs. Any herbs will do. Butter and a bowl of water to soak my bread. Now, I will show you. These are the herbs that I was using, the dry herbs, but you can use whichever herbs and dry spices you like. Now it is time to soak your bread. Any bread will do. I'm using Haitian bread from the Haitian Caribbean store. If you cannot find Haitian bread or you simply don't like Haitian bread, you can use any bread of your choice. The key is to actually soak your bread first before adding it to your pan. For my herbs, I'm going to add the scotch bonnet pepper, the thyme, the onion, and the parsley, and a pot of boiling water. I always boil my spices separately or my dry herbs separately before combining everything together. Now in my main pan, I'm going to add the butter so I can saute the onions, celery, and tomatoes. I always saute everything separately. Also, if you had Haitian spice, this would be the time to add the Haitian spice as well. Put a lid on your vegetables, let them steam and soften up for about five minutes, three to five minutes, and after you will then want to add your dry spices. So the reason you wouldn't want to add your Haitian spice during this time is because Haitian spice is a lot more chunkier and it consists of um, a lot more liquid. So you would want to cook Haitian spice all the way through before adding your dry herbs. At this point, you want to add your soaked bread. So the bread has been soaking. Actually, mine's were soaking for about 10 minutes, a little longer. So as you're assembling everything, you want to keep your bread soaking. Add it to your pan and let that steam and simmer for about five or so minutes until the water dries up. After about three to five minutes, everything should look like this, not too much water in the pan. And from there, you're going to take the water that was boiling with all your dry herbs, add it to your pan and let that sit for about five to 10 minutes or until you are satisfied with the way everything looks. Always taste your food for salt. Make sure it's tasting right in the way that you want it to taste. And this next step, you absolutely do not want to skip this step. Squeeze a lemon. This is a half a lemon. You can also do, or this is lime. You can also do a lemon, but this is only half of a lime. And also I'm going to splash just the tiniest bit of apple cider vinegar. You don't want to skip this step if you can help it, at least not the lemon part. You just don't want to skip the lemon part. That is the way that every Haitian mother makes this type of dish. Also, I'm going to add three cloves or jiwaf, the one that we all hated growing up, but it makes a big difference when you add it to the soup. So if you have it on hand, I would suggest adding it, but that is optional. Let your soup boil until you're satisfied with the consistency and at the end you should come out with your soup looking just like this. It is so delicious. You can eat it year round. 
everyone in your family will love this soup including your toddlers and your children if you have any but this soup is so good please try it let me know if you do leave a comment below please subscribe and thank you for watching see you in the next video